I'm joined by our panel of MPs. NDP Deputy Leader Megan Leslie is in Halifax. James Bazan, the Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Defense, is in Winnipeg. And Liberal Defense Critic Joyce Murray is in Vancouver. So a few moments ago, we heard from Mr. Mulcair on question period saying that if the NDP forms the next government, it will pull Canada out of the combat mission against ISIS. Over to you, Ms. Murray. Is that the position of the Liberal Party? We haven't taken a position yet, Bob, because uh, it's all speculation right now as to what, uh, the, what the government is going to propose. Uh, but I will remind people that when we were debating the mission in Iraq in October, uh, the, the Liberals were supportive of the special forces going in, uh, in to assist, our, to assist the, the um, Iraqi troops and the Peshmerga behind the lines. We were not supportive of a combat mission, of the bombing mission. We felt that there had not been a case made that that was the best way uh, for Canada to contribute. And, you, and is that your position now, that you still feel that the bombing mission is not the right way to go? even though all our allies are doing that and it looks like it's far more dangerous frankly to be training uh, troops on the ground than it is to be bombing ISIS from above. <laughs> well it's certainly far more dangerous when the, when the training mission morphs into frontline combat which is what's happened here and that gets to the heart of the challenge that I think we have as parliamentarians and Canadians have and that's that the Prime Minister has not been open and honest about what is the mandate for this mission and uh, secondly it's putting the cart before the horse uh, for us to decide uh, yes or no we're for this or that when all this happened so far is a lot of um, idea spinning in the in in the uh, in the media and in the public by the conservative government speculating on maybe this maybe that we'll wait until we see the details well we're not going to get a clear answer from the liberals so mr. Bazan because this mission has a lot of public support uh, don't you actually, would you prefer not having the NDP and Liberals supporting the extension because it allows you to have a wedge issue in the election campaign? No, I think uh, we would hope that there would be at least bipartisan support for these types of missions. I think that it uh, works better to, to one, not only to demonstrate to our allies that uh, this isn't a political issue, it's not a partisan issue, this is about taking the right steps in protecting Canadians and protecting those people that are most vulnerable, that have uh, been facing the wrath of the ISIL terrorists. So we would hope that we'd see multi-party support, and as Mr. Mulcair has already come out saying they won't, that's unfortunate. Uh, you know, we're going to watch the Liberals reinvent themselves here, uh, I suspect, because they have put their uh, wet finger in the wind and notice that uh, Canadians are supportive of this mission. Uh, Ms. Leslie, this mission is strongly supported by most Canadians according to the polls. Don't you risk alienating voters with your stand to say, if we form the government, we're out of there? The only thing I agree with uh, with what James said was this shouldn't be a partisan issue, and so I'm I, I'm not ready. I'm not willing to play politics with it. What the NDP cares about is actually saving lives, and if we were serious about saving lives, we wouldn't be sending in bombs. We would be sending in humanitarian aid. So it's the right position to take. Uh, we have seen mission creep. I mean, it it looks to me like the prime minister is just willing to sleepwalk his way into a wider and wider uh, mission here we went from having a one month deployment to assist and now we have we have troops on the front lines and there's potential to drop bombs I don't know how dropping bombs is going to save lives and so I think it's a principled position and I'm proud of it let me ask you Miss Murray uh, Mr. Bazan is quite right in saying that the uh, coalition efforts uh, have succeeded in stopping ISIS's expansion that's both uh, the air war and the uh, military training but mostly the air war so uh, aren't you aren't you putting your your party in a in a bad situation by would by opposing the expansion if in fact you do it because we're not sure where your stand is well look we're not going to make that decision until we see what the motion actually is proposing uh, when we when we took our position on the previous motion there was a handful of the of the 60 some nations involved in this coalition 
who were actually dropping bombs as their contribution. Uh, we didn't think that that was high, the highest and best contribution for Canada to make. We felt that the funds could best be spent in other ways, including more uh, on the humanitarian side, but also military assistance that was non-combat in nature. So it's been a complete bogus argument to say either you drop bombs or you're sitting on the sidelines, which is what this government has been pushing for the last six months. And I think they underestimate the intelligence of Canadians. And secondly, I want to respond to the this idea that the, that the government, the Conservatives, want uh, bipartisan or multi-partisan support on this. Well, they sure have a funny way of going about it. I mean, this is a government where the minister and the, James, the parliamentary secretary, have blatantly misinformed the public about the NDP's record in voting on, on uh, previous missions. They've uh, deliberately said they things that were Libya not true. They voted for Libya and they voted against and Libya. Second, so they've gone both and ways they, on it. They, I'll just finish it. this. And they have deliberately, uh, the minister has deliberately misinformed the public about this government's record on budget cuts and compared with a previous government and has put out false information uh, several times. And so how do, you, how do you square doing these kinds of uh, falsifications of the truth, that things that are on public record? Mr. Brazan, over to you. Well, first of all, all I have to say is decade of darkness and the Liberals sending their troops to Afghanistan without proper equipment. Uh, we've uh, fully re-equipped. Uh, it's been hard work re-equipping the Canadian Armed Forces after uh, the decade of darkness, but we're getting the job done. We've increased uh, spending from the, the top end under the Liberals at best was, 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 was uh, $12 billion. Uh, this year, uh, we just finished that uh, just over $20 billion. So the increases are there. Our tr troops are well equipped. And let's just get back to um, Megan had mentioned uh, uh, the humanitarian crisis as well as Joyce and this is something that we do believe in that there, this is a whole of government approach and we are the sixth largest don donor nation uh, to uh, the situation in Syria the fifth largest donor to Iraq over 700 million dollars in expenditures now throughout the region helping displaced people helping fight the terrorists because we got to remember we can't save the people if we allow ISIL to kill uh, uh, millions of people uh, uh, doing their genocide across the region they have to be stopped Canada is going to play a role in both the heavy lift Lifting, of, of participating in combat missions, uh, as well as doing the humanitarian aid, working with the UN, working with all the different uh, relief agencies, making sure kids get to school, that there's food there through the World Food Bank, and that we're providing shelter. So we are addressing this as a whole of government. We will continue to do so and work with uh, the Iraqi government and how they move forward in dealing with uh, the aftermath of this war. So final word to you, Ms. Leslie. Uh, Mr. Bazan makes a good point that we are contributing humanitarian aid and it does, I mean, all the evidence suggests that the coalition is succeeding in stopping the expansion of ISIS and is going to, it looks like it's beginning to push it out of Iraq. So what, what's wrong with this coalition, this air war? You know, Joyce mentioned that uh, we don't have the motion in front of us and so the Liberals won't comment. Well, it's true. We don't have the motion in front of us. But the NDP, we're willing to comment. There are so many things that we have said. If, if they want bipartisan support, we've been on the record of what we need to know. We've been asking questions in the House of Commons. How many troops are involved? Where? Uh, what is happening at the front line? Are our troops engaged on the front lines? I mean, there are so many questions that we have. The government has not been transparent. If they want our support, the first thing they have to do is answer those questions. And I think, you know, I go back to my original, original statement about how, how, is, how are bombs actually saving lives when we know that we could be in there providing that humanitarian aid instead of actually considering taking on the Assad regime as an ally for bombing? I mean, I don't, it's like an alternate reality. That's not what we signed up for, and it's certainly not what was presented to us originally in the House of Commons. Well, we'll find out this week exactly exactly what the government's plans are. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you. Bob.